Hello and welcome to another episode of Tips and Ideas with Ed Wallace of Midwest Landscaping, www.uniqueenvironments.com. I figured I would do a short video on uh, one of the irrigation systems that we use quite a bit, quite often in our landscape renovations, retrofits, and it is the uh, Rainbird 1800 Retro Kit. And what this kit is all about is converting existing pop-up irrigation sprinkler heads over to a water efficient drip irrigation setup so that you can be able to run drip irrigation to your landscape instead of using these conventional pop-ups. This uh, particular yard has the old brass pop-ups that was in the backyard here and uh, so what we did the first order of business is to go to your irrigation supply house uh, either your Ewing or your site one irrigation supply houses they carry this uh, rainbird 1800 retro kit and it comes complete with the drip spray to drip conversion kit instructions as you can see here it's very simple and easy to be able to retrofit over the irrigation system and uh, all your instructions are right here so that you can be able to read it take your time to understand how it works but to give you a quick overview of um, what's all involved we have our rainbird body it's a four inch rainbird pop-up body and inside that body you have a pressure regulator which is right here this is your pressure regulator it regulates the pressure down so that you can be able to utilize the drip irrigation without blowing the pipe off of the off of the, the hookups and off of the nipples and the apparatus that is set up for the irrigation system. So we have uh, a dual port and we have a single port. So the single port is like a, in a situation like this little planter bed right here. We can put in one of the 1800s and one run one single drip line down to the end. But in this application we're going to be using subsurface drip. So we'll use both of these ports. Uh, we use both of these ports to take water from one side of the yard to the other side. So we're going to put in crappie utility ground cover in this small backyard patio area. So we figured we'd use the subsurface drip to help avoid throwing water all over the walls. The fence has just been replaced and the walls will it's been restuccoed so we don't want to ruin all the stucco and stuff by having spray. This is a north facing backyard so um, water wise we don't want to apply too much water but the subsurface is going to be very efficient from the standpoint of reducing the amount of water we need to use back here but also using that water efficiently and not ruining our mystery and uh, hardscape here back in the back. We're getting back to the 1800 retro and this is your filter. So your filter filters out any type of sand, debris, rust that may be in the water and they come up and this basically goes inside like that and then this whole filter fits inside of the pop-up body like this and it screws down and you can be able to utilize either your single port single port or your double port and one thing you notice on the bottom here we have the blue lock system irrigation system blue lock is manufactured by the hydro rain corporation out of salt lake city www.hydrorain.com we use the blue lock fittings uh, exclusively in all my irrigation installations it's fast it's simple it's very durable dependable a lot of flexibility and as you can see here i made a swing joint out of a couple of the fittings that are available with the uh, the system so we can get a 360 on that on that fitting there and uh, what we did is took out the the existing riser it was a flex riser so i used this riser ex extender or extractor and pulled out that riser that was here where this pop-up was located put in a blue lock uh, 90 threaded 90 and put in uh, another 90 and ran my blue lock piping HDP piping all the way over here to where we're going to locate 
the um, the ritual 18, 1800 to be able to send water down to the other end. So we'll have a, a grid made where we'll have different runs going down the sides and through the middle to adequately water this backyard. But uh, the blue lock piping is, is amazing. You see how we have the flexibility running the pipe and flexing it around. No glue, no PVC. I'll measure out the depth I'll need for the, um, the pop-up. These are our cutters. So I'll cut that pipe. This is our outdoor half an inch blue lock pipe. It's pretty pressure rated to like about 200, 300 pounds PSI. So Bursting. It has UV inhibitors in it also, so if we were to run that over the top for drip irrigation and plugging in drip emitters along this pipeline, we could also do that. Here's another close up of that blue lock piping and the diameter of it, stuff like that. You can also find this at your irrigation supply houses or by going online to hydrorain.com. But this is our 1800 retro kit. Get a hold of one if you want to retrofit your existing landscape um, shrub areas, your turf areas. You want to convert and do subsurface turf, subsurface irrigation for your turf. This is what you can use instead of uh, putting in a filter and pressure regulator at your valve. This saves a lot of time and effort. And all your other pop ups, what we do is go through and we cap them off. So there's other areas where there are pop-ups that we came through and just took out the pop-up and put in a half an inch cap on top of these different risers where the pop-ups existed. So that way you wouldn't have to go through and uh, cut the line or cap it that kind of way. We just put threaded caps on top of where the existing pop-ups were at. 